now let us simplify the following boolean expressions using two variable karnov map we know that karnov map is a pictorial representation a diagrammatic representation which is made up of cells or squares if we have even n variable function a n variable expression then totally we will have 2 power n cells or squares so here what is n value it is a two variable so 2 power 2 means totally we will have four cells or four squares and totally we will have 2 power n min terms here n value is 2 so 2 power 2 means 4 so totally we will have four min terms if it is a two variable uh, let us solve these three examples first example ab bar plus a bar b bar or sigma m of 0 comma 2 uh, so here uh, it is what two variable ab bar we have two variables a bar b bar we have two variables so totally we will have two power 2 four cells okay uh, in the left hand side we have a right hand side uh, b if you want we can interchange also there is no problem here we can write b and here we can write a there is no problem okay uh, a value is 0 means a bar a value is 1 means a b value is 0 means b bar b value is 1 means b uh, so here totally we will have four min terms so first min term is 0 0 so 0 0 means a bar a is 0 b is 0 so a bar b bar so this cell represents a bar b bar so a bar b bar means 0 0 so 0 0 in decimal notation is 0 so this cell represents m 0 next this cell represents a bar a value is 0 b is 1 so this cell represents a bar b so a bar b means 0 1 so this cell means 0 1 0 1 in decimal notation is 1 so likewise this cell represents 1 a value is 1 b value is 0 so a b bar so a b bar means 1 0 One zero in decimal notation is two m two min term. So likewise, this cell represents a b one one. So one one decimal notation in decimal notation means three. Okay. Uh, let us see the first problem here. What is the first problem? A a b bar. So a value is one. A value is one. So that means this row. Whereas b bar. So b bar means b value is zero. So this cell represents a b bar. so we have to write one here next plus a bar b bar so a value is 0 means this row b value is 0 means this column so a bar b bar means this cell so we have to write one here or uh, we may get an expression like this okay sigma m of 0 comma 2 so m means what small m means it is a min term sum of products min terms so 0 min term so 0 min term means this cell so we have to write one here next to second min term means uh, this cell so we have to write one here now we can form these two cells as a pair we can form these two cells as a pair so now let us write the expression for this pair so if you observe here so if you observe here here a is changing from 0 to 1 if a variable appears in complemented form as well as uncomplemented form then we can neglect that variable here if we observe these two adjacent cells here a appears in a, a, a complemented form as well as uncomplemented form so we can neglect this a so we can write only this zero so this zero means b value is zero means b bar so the simplified expression for the first problem is b bar so likewise let us solve the second problem a b bar plus a bar b so a a means 1 so b bar means this cell okay so we have to write one here plus a bar b so a bar means this row so b value is 1 so that means this cell or sigma m of 1 comma 2 so m1 means this cell so we have to write one here next to 2 means this cell so we have to write one here here these two appears in diagonal so there is no need to form these two as a pair so we have to group them separately so this will become Uh, one pair one element one group and this one will become one group okay uh, so here uh, we can't further simplify this expression we can't further simplify this expression so here uh, a value is 0 b value is 1 
so that means a b bar only next here if you observe this cell a value is 1 b value is 0 so that means a b bar a value is 1 and b value is 0 means a b bar so let us see the first one a value is 0 b value is 1 means a bar b so a bar b plus a b bar so that is nothing but original expression only so we can't further simplify this expression okay why because these two appears in diagonal so we can't uh, for, form these two as a pair okay now let us see the last example a bar a b bar a b bar means what a means this one b bar means this this so a b bar means this cell so we have to write one here next a bar b so a bar b means a bar means this row next b b value is one means this cell uh, next a bar b bar means a bar b bar means first cell so we have to write one here or sigma m of 0 comma 1 comma 2 so 0 means this mean term so write one 1 means this mean term this cell so write one here so this is second mean term so write one here so if you observe these three here we have three ones here so we can form these two adjacent cells as a pair so if you observe here b appears in uncomplemented form as well as un b appears in complemented form as well as uncomplemented form so we can neglect b so here the expression is a bar a value is 0 means a bar so likewise if you see here we can form these two as a pair so instead of writing this one as a single group it is better to make these two as a pair so that the expression will be minimized so here our aim is the group should contain more number of mean terms so that expression will be simplified minimized so instead of making this one as a group it is better to make these two as a these two as one pair so there is no problem here overlapping is allowed in carnal math if we observe here if we observe this pair a value is changing from a value is available in uncomplemented form as well as uncomplemented form so we can neglect this a so we can write this zero this zero is nothing but b bar so here the simplified expression is a bar plus b bar so likewise we can simplify any boolean expression with the help of a two variable carnal map very very easily in the next video we will see about uh, three variable carnal map and after that we will discuss about uh, a four variable and five variable carnal map also so here what we have to do so depends upon the min terms simply we have to write one in the corresponding carnal map and we have to make uh, the adjacent cells as a pair and write the corresponding expression.